Now that you know how to uh, deal with the UI files, I have some ideas where you can start with very simple, easy hacks to improve the situation for draw. And um, the presentation is about what user thinks uh, where we can uh, uh, improve uh, our program. Uh, no presentation without a puppy and a kitten. And um, the um, discussion started with uh, a call from uh, Michel Renon, who said, eat your own dog food and uh, use draw, for instance, to scribble the mock-ups. I immediately stop uh, those ideas and say, no, no, no. There are millions of arguments against using this. And in the end, I was thinking, uh, draw? Who needs draw? It's uh, just a, a graphic program. I, I don't want to uh, do graphics. I have GIMP and Inkscape and all these things. But um, if I have no idea what is draw good for, the best is to ask the community. Um, one option uh, could have been if the community say, um, or p users in the community say, uh, majority that uh, they are not using draw, that we could uh, have a vision to drop it out of the program. Another idea could have been that uh, users uh, apply it for simple drawings, just um, a few scribbles or whatever. So. We prepared uh, a survey. Uh, the uh, uh, darkened uh, options are some just uh, uh, demographic questions, and I will report the two open uh, free test uh, questions where uh, people can respond freely. So they were asked, for what purpose do you use LibreOffice right now? And I expected to uh, reply that like uh, I use it in my spare time to whatever, scribble uh, a simple drawing or whatever. And uh, say uh, what kind of vision they have for the future. Where should we uh, uh, go to? What, in, in which um, uh, screws should we uh, um, uh, turn around to, to make it better, to improve it? It could be that people tell us, do not develop a draw, skip it. So what happens is, as usual in open source, uh, you expect with a free text question to have just a, a small number of replies where you can get a, a, a quick impression, but open source is uh, sometimes a um, kind of a problem, and uh, we got 2,000 replies. If you get 2,000 of uh, uh, answers like this, it, uh, it's getting a little bit complicated to analyze the, the results. People tell us uh, what they do. So this question is about what uh, purpose they are using, and they tell us uh, flowcharts, organigrams, and uh, slides for presentation are included here and there. Um, people tell about uh, PDF files, uh, and um, of course, they uh, do uh, have typos in there, written somewhere. Um, we have uh, got a, a, a large number of users because it was uh, um, put on uh, some kind of Russian side, white Russia. I'm, I'm not sure about, but uh, many were not native speakers. So it's uh, not easy to, to get an impression out of a large number of those results. This one is one example. It could be as well a little bit smaller. Typically, we get only one sentence or a few words. This one is um, sorted by um, a kind of organization that I apply to the answer, answers. In this case, uh, Visio. I try to uh, get through the answers and analyze each report, uh, each writing uh, for, uh, for the content. And if I uh, get an impression that Visio would be uh, a kind of uh, a competitor and people want to get draw as a similar program like Visio, I make an, uh, um, a set of flag in, in, a, in, a, in Calc, I did it in Calc, set of flag for this particular answer, and in the end, I count it uh, through. 
So what I want to show is that there are various combinations. Uh, Visio, the first two one, uh, just make it like Visio. The next one there says uh, it could be also a replacement for AutoCAD. I think it's a good challenge for you that you know how UI files are created now. We make it like AutoCAD. Um, the third or fourth one, uh, make it like uh, flowcharts, create flowcharts from the program, but uh, have it also like uh, Visio. And of course we get um, something completely else. Um, people reply, um, I give up. it's a stupid program, it, it does not work for me. Um, it, uh, it is counterintuitive. Um, you cannot do simple tasks and uh, really funny replies, fuck LibreOffice, <laughs> it's all shit. Only a few, but uh, it's uh, very typical for this kind of uh, replies. So what do you do? Um, is so I, I, I collect, um, I guess all the threes are collected in, in a category of, uh, I do not use uh, draw at all. So what uh, we get as an output of this survey is the number of replies. And the majority, it should be readable, majority says, or has something like uh, a scheme or a diagram as a idea what draw is being used for. It's still the purpose of draw. Uh, I use draw for uh, creating schemes or di diagrams. No answer as the second one category, so people uh, give no reply, do not write anything in, in, in the survey as, uh, as a uh, report, but uh, they told us uh, the age or something like that. Next one, um, it should be simple. Simple is a keyword which uh, comes into mind. The usage of PDF. Um, I was not aware before running this survey that uh, DRAW is the first program to, to open PDFs and edit, uh, use DRAW as a PDF editor. Flowchart and so on. I guess you can read it through. And uh, it's still a good number of um, information that people have. And it's not really you cannot grasp it. Where do we go in the future? Do we have to make it simpler or should we uh, improve on URL, UML usage? Just to uh, take one of the uh, answers. Um, we need to um, boil it down even further to, to get some categories. First of all, I have uh, again something uh, for the next question about what uh, people expect in the future, and it's, uh, it's not that much more information in there. What they do now mostly should be improved for the future use. So if people use it for uh, drawing schemes, they want to get improvements there. Most want to have it uh, a better import-export filter to, to have an interoperability with uh, drawers and like. Um, but they tell us uh, a lot of uh, various programs and uh, formats that uh, should be used. Usability is um, on the top, make it easier, simpler, more obvious what should be improved, what uh, particular feature is, uh, makes sense, speed, bug fixing. But on the next uh, time is uh, block diagrams, uh, flowchart, mind maps. It's a combination of replies. Um, People want to uh, get improvements for those type of um, yeah, uh, functionality. Next step to um, um, uh, aggregate all the information into something that is handleable is to group all the keywords into something like, for instance, block diagrams. It's obvious that if people report, I use it for schemes and please make it uh, better for uh, working as flowcharts, we can use and uh, improve on the block diagram tools. Uh, reported a scheme diagram, UML, um, of course, uh, drawing UML um, uh, diagrams and networking uh, things is uh, what people uh, use um, there. Software architecture, some kind of, I'm not a developer, so I do not know for sure, but what's the um, network or uh, software diagram, but 
it should be some kind of uh, simple shape and connectors. Shape and connectors are what makes a, a block diagram, basically. Mind maps and uh, genograms are, of course, uh, something similar. You draw a simple shape and connectors. Um, what is needed to improve for block diagrams. By the way, a TDF number above its uh, meta tickets that I created from the tickets I will show now uh, where we uh, should improve. It collects all the tickets that belongs to these uh, block diagram features. It's a yeah, meta ticket. So improvements to connectors and labels, it's obvious. We have no, uh, this is a, a picture, we have nothing to uh, no pointer, we have nothing to, to hop a line, to, to uh, make it clear that a line is um, going in over another. Other tools do have it, either as illustrated here as a, as a hopping uh, over the line or by uh, intersection. In Visio, you can uh, easily create it. Or uh, another feature which is illustrated here, the um, places where the connectors are uh, put onto a shape is something which could be improved. So improvements to connectors and labels, of course, label is, uh, if you label um, a connector, it is sometimes written uh, through the label and you cannot read it anymore. So you need to do with a workaround, put some background after behind it or the like. It's not that nice. As you can see, there are, a huge number of tickets written before that goes in this direction. Another big topic is auto generation of uh, diagrams. People want uh, just to enter the, the, the text and want the program to create the graphics. It is called uh, smart uh, diagrams or something like that in, in Microsoft. In other tools, it's uh, it's a well-known feature and should be, uh, yeah, simplifies the workflow. Standardization is part of it. There are uh, types of diagrams. Um, it should be created or it, it, it's kind of a style of a diagram that could be implemented here. To go a little bit faster, uh, besides from the block diagram, which is interesting, we have um, features to create a vector graphic. This example on the right side is a floor plan. It is something, uh, it was added uh, to the, um, in the survey. Someone creates a floor plan with draw in a, in a really um, high level uh, configuration. It's, it's amazing how um, much information you can put into the diagram and he says it's pretty easy. If you know how to do it, it might be uh, easy. In this case, uh, we need to deal with different um, issues. We do not need to care about uh, connectors or labels. It's more uh, about uh, yeah, other features. This, first of all, competitors told us uh, from uh, in the survey are kind of Xara, Designer, AutoCAD, of course, CorelDRAW, uh, Pencil and Inkscape. Pencil is uh, it's a program to scribble uh, mockups for UIs. Um, if you know my kind of uh, um, uh, yeah, sketches for UI proposals, I do it with balsamic mockups, which is a well-known program. The open source version of it is Pencil. And Inkscape, of course, is known as a the uh, big player in vector graphics. So what do we need to improve? It is, first of all, a shapes library. It's blinking. It should not blink. It's a, a, a cool feature of Impress. Um, improvements to the shape library. If, um, if you get more pre-designed uh, pre uh, stencils out of the shapes library, of the gallery, um, you can do it much more quickly to create a, a nice vector graphics or a mock-up. Layer handling. Um, layers are a really strange topic uh, and it's uh, very difficult. You can see it on the number of uh, tickets that we have. It's uh, 
kind of uh, we're implemented in draw and people do not understand how to handle it. You need to simplify it. And something similar is a blinking object selection, which is, it blinks, of course, it blinks because of the relevance. Uh, object selection and alignment is an important thing. You cannot easily select objects in draw. If you have many of small pieces there, it's, it's hard to uh, uh, select all these tiny things. You cannot use, no. We have those two uh, last uh, items are uh, written in green because we made a proposal recently about uh, how it could be solved. Perhaps it's time to show the idea. Vector graphics. So we have block diagrams, vector graphics as uh, two different visions for the future of draw. What else? What else comes later? First of all, vector graphic means we need um, brushes. Brushes are um, uh, variation to the to lines. If you have a scribble, you don't want to show it as a clear line, but uh, like a hand-drawn thing. That's it's, that's done by a brush. So it is something which is uh, uh, contained in, in in most vector uh, diagrams or uh, uh, blurry line, blurry like shadows. Realistic shadows is requested uh, sometimes, and as you can see, shadow would be nice not only for vector graphics. Uh, you may want to have a shadow behind a shape for block diagrams. It's it's a nice feature, and it's um, kind of arbitrary uh, selection of feature request to a topic. But it's my way to to organize the the big topics. Um, people request um, uh, arcs and, and, and numeric uh, arcs uh, as uh, the lowest example on the right hand. We have measure lines for uh, um, vertical or horizontal uh, lines, and one request is for angels, which would be really helpful if a draw goes into a cat direction. We have 3D effects. It's a, a, a cool thing, and I'm afraid no one uses it. A draw could be um, a little bit exaggerated a replacement for Blender. You create a vector graphic. Is okay, a little bit too far. Geographic maps. It, it's a it's a cool thing. Um, some uh, need to put it somewhere. Geographic maps is the idea to have a map in draw and to add some information as an overlay to the line, to the, to the graph. Could be a future of draw. More. Um, now, block diagram, vector graphic. Next one is uh, text processing. Uh, a lot of um, read draws, uh, what is draw is being used for is um, to create something uh, for um, dealing with text, um, like creating posters, A0 posters, business card flyers, all this stuff, uh, which uh, requires exact placement of text or uh, images behind it, something like that. And of course, the PDF editing is part of the digital text processing. Would be a competitor to, Lat uh, to Lattich and uh, publisher Scribbles, for instance. We need to improve on the PDF filter handling. Uh, the list is here um, limited. We have, I guess, much more tickets uh, regarding PDF. Those are found as uh, in, in the uh, draw category. Component like is draw. Table handling is requested a couple of times. So people are using tables in draw to organize the um, information. Um, kind of weird to me, but it is not that. Uh, uh, uncommon to do so. Uh, styles, a big topic. Styles is something which uh, should be uh, improved at uh, everywhere in the application because it makes it easier and quicker to, to get to a result. It combines a lot of uh, weird properties into one result and you have uh, one click interaction kind of. So what else? Um, working with uh, frames and text wrapping and all the features, how 
the text is organized in uh, in a drawing is uh, is of imp um, um, of interest. Uh, for instance, you want to run the text uh, on a polygon to make it look like whatever. I have no good example, but it could be interesting. Number three or four, what else? Um, of course, it could be also a program to manipulate pixels, um, which is, uh, I guess, not really the, the first idea of draw. Draw is not a pixel uh, editor, and it will never be. What we have is um, features to uh, deal with images. You can add an image and change the contrast, brightness, or the like. Um, but in the end, we, we need to decide to not um, do work regarding pixels. I think five minutes left for discussion is better than showing more.